So today I'm talking about playing the bass clarinet live with a band, particularly a loud band. Um, using a microphone is not optimal because uh, the sound of the bass clarinet comes out uh, primarily after the first uh, couple of open holes for whatever note you play. So the highest notes, your sound is going to start coming out around here. Lowest notes, your sound, of course, is going to come out around here. That's two feet of gap. I've done it where I've had a mic in front of me and I'm actually moving around to stay close to the mic because there's so many other loud instruments around me and I want to be picked up. Doesn't really work. Uh, I've had sound guys mic the bell before like you would on a saxophone and um, yeah, that really only works for the lowest notes on the horn. When I'm playing the high notes on the horn, or, you're really not getting much at all out of here. They got to crank the gain, then it starts feeding back. Then I blow some low notes and it blows them up. Anyway, this is not a problem anymore because we got pickups, pickups. I'm excited about pickups, sorry. I'm excited that I get to play the horn with a loud band and people can hear it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple different types of pickups today. Uh, one is called the Piezo Barrel, made by a guy out in Australia. Uh, I love it. Uh, you do need to drill a hole into your mouthpiece or into your horn in order to use it, but it's really not uh, really not that scary. I had Chris Moeller over at Agave Music do it for me. He's awesome. He knows exactly what to do. Um, also, I'm going to demonstrate another uh, like contact mic style Piezo pickup uh, that you just attach to the body of the horn. Uh, and you'll you'll hear a big difference between the two. I'd probably only use the contact mic if I were using uh, a lot of effects. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Bada bing! I have a uh, it's an eighth inch on the end, and I just took an eighth inch to quarter inch cable and uh, taped it to the body of the horn. Uh, fortunately, I thought before even installing this that if I just had a cable running straight to the pickup eventually either me or someone else was going to step on that cable on the gig and rip my neck apart which i don't want to happen so instead i just take the cable down the body of the horn and uh, i loop it around this uh, bell brace at the bottom that way if somebody yanks the cable it just pulls the bottom of the horn doesn't rip it apart <laughs> So with the pickup removed, we insert a plug instead so that we can play the horn and it uh, isn't affected at all. So yeah, here's the horn just acoustic in the room. So you'll also find this style of pickup for sale. Uh, sometimes called a contact mic. It's a piezo pickup uh, with a sticky surface. You could stick it to pretty much anything, make drum triggers. Um, I've tried it in a number of different places on the body of the instrument. Uh, basically, before I had the, the guts to drill a hole in the horn, I thought, well, maybe I could just stick something to the horn and make it work. But really, all I get is key noise out of it. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Best place I found to put it would be on the mouthpiece right about here. So uh, I'll stick it on and uh, get it set up and let you hear what it sounds like, but uh, it's nowhere near the quality of the, the pickup that goes in the horn. not in use I uh, just pull the pickup out here's a plug that I use but I'll show you what it looks like inside so here's with nothing in the port this is the port that I had Chris install uh, you see the hole in there and <laughs> So.
so yeah hopefully you can hear this again um very little key noise very little key noise surprisingly little key noise especially when i'm using it live like i can i can play on a stage with loud guitar players and stuff and you can totally hear the natural sound of the bass clarinet i'm enamored positively enamored this pickup is excellent so in summation uh yeah piezo bear pickup rocks it's great i'm using it all the time i got a whole effect rig that i've been running into uh, i'll put a video together in the next couple weeks showing off what i'm doing with all the effects uh put some clips in and playing it live as well i've used it on i think four or five gigs so far and it's rocking so uh agave music az.com is chris moeller's site i'll put a link i don't know how to use youtube but i'll probably stick it around there and uh piezo barrel if you just want to buy it direct uh from australia uh you can find it I, I don't know how to use YouTube, but uh, you're supposed to click subscribe and stuff. I don't. Dude.